Welcome back to New Day Northwest. So my next guest has been described by Vogue, yes, that Vogue, as a new fashion it girl. And she's doing it all on four legs. Tika the Iggy is a very fashionable Italian greyhound, and she's out with a new self-titled book, Lessons in Life, Love, and Fashion. She and her human, Thomas Shapiro, join me now. Okay, I, I have to first ask, Tika the Iggy, what is this name all about? So her name is Tika, uh, that's her given name, mm -hmm. and Iggy is like a short nickname, fun handle for Italian Greyhound. Oh, but nice. since that's such a mouthful, it's kind of been shortened down to IG Iggy. I love so, that. Yeah. That is so cool. So tell us a little bit more about Tika. So Tika is an Italian Greyhound. We live in Montreal, Canada. Um, kind of like out here in Seattle, it gets cold. Mm -hmm. pretty much a lot a lot of the year yeah. um, and as you may have noticed she doesn't have much fur uh, or any oh, fat no. to her she's quite she's got like zero percent body <laughs> um, fat so she actually wears the clothing to keep her warm throughout most of the year um, she also doesn't love the rain she doesn't love the wind so it comes from like a practical standpoint um, but like human fashion we're able to have fun with it and the internet has loved it yes I mean practical does not have to mean boring am exactly. I right Iggy yes I'm right also I've noticed since we've been working with her this morning She's really good at posing. She's really good, period. She's probably the most patient dog I've ever met. Um, but she also doesn't do anything she doesn't want to do. So she's very, uh, she's very self-respected. <laughs> she's <laughs> very much a model. So tell us a little bit about what you were mentioning with people on, on the internet loving her, about your social media page, and why do you think it's resonated with so many people? I mean, we've kind of tried to create a corner of the internet that's just fun, silly. I mean, we do all these crazy events throughout the world that you would never think a dog would do, but she handles it so well. She truly is a professional. So I think uh, people have really loved seeing her adventures and seeing what we've been able to do uh, with the account. And it's also just like a really fun, safe space for the internet for everyone to kind of just relax and Boy. take a mind off from the real world. Boy, do we need that, Iggy. Let me personally thank you for <laughs> saving our sanity. Um, tell me about some of her looks. Where does the fashion inspiration come from? The fashion inspiration comes a bit from me, uh, just <laughs> and you know, like she kind of has her own style as well. Um, but we always want to make sure she's comfortable. So right now it's feathers here, but on the inside it's like very soft uh, wool, so she's kept warm in this right. rainy weather. Um, but we've worked with Christian Siriano, Dior, Who did Fendi. This? Uh, this was a local designer uh, in Montreal. She's uh, Chantelle Designs. She made this uh, specifically for the book. Well, um, oh, and this, fantastic. And it this looks... was Ashley Studio. They're based in Paris. This was actually for Paris Couture Week. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was going to ask if it was yeah. Lagerfeld. Um, this is adorable. Oh, and what do we, oh, this is very popular, this mesh dress thing. Yes, yeah, so this was actually, uh, before the trend started, uh, Lucas Stowe, he's a New York designer. He kind of paved this way, and Tika's one of the first to wear this back in 2020. Tika. So. <laughs> fantastic. She's a, she's a trendsetter for sure. Really, truly. And this, th what does this look? This is an Australian look. Um, that's fun about this is the onesie's super practical for her, but then the dress, it's a lawn dress that just snaps to the back. Oh. Uh, so when she's done with the photo shoot, we just remove it, and she's comfy and good to go. And, do her thing. This is so fantastic. It's so fun. Why did you decide though, I have to make this a book? And how did that start? So the book actually came based on fans requests. Uh, we wrote a kid's book when our son was born two years ago and Aww. that was super well received. But then people were like, we want, like it was an illustrated book. So people said they wanted a coffee table book. Um, and the lessons in life, love and fashion came from people always DMing us on Instagram and TikTok mm -hmm. saying, Tika, what do you think of my prom dress? Tika, what should I do for my date? <laughs> Tika, what do you think about this? So we've kind of just taken all that advice that we've you know, given to people and made into a very silly, tongue in cheek, chic book. I love this and really sweet, sweet things like any act of kindness, no matter how small, gets a big tail wag from me. She's really teaching us to be better humans. Yeah, and I think like, you know, anyone who has a dog or a cat or a pet mm -hmm. just kind of knows that it teaches you to be more in the present, appreciate the small things, not sweat yeah. the big stuff and, you know, spread a little love. What a lovely gift this will be for folks, Absolutely. you know, just in any time in life. If you're having a bad day and you get a Tika the Iggy book, <laughs> it's a perfect, a perfect thing. What do you hope people take away from this? I hope people take away from this that, you know, be a little more open-minded to people and things you might have not seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, just in general in life with dogs, with humans, uh, a little more respect for everyone, a little more love. Yeah. What is our favorite treat, by the way? Uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers? Yeah. That I was <laughs> not expecting. Cucumbers, bell peppers, anything that's like crunchy but has water in it. Oh. She's down. Really? That's how you keep your girlish figure, huh? <laughs> That's nice. why she stays ready for fashion week. That's right. <laughs> what is next for Tika? Uh, so right now we're in the middle of our book tour. Um, we've done all the East Coast, Texas, ma many Canadian cities. We just came from LA. Nice. We have a stop in Seattle. So it's it's all been sold out so far. So it's been really great to meet the fans. And this this all blew up really during the pandemic. So it's great to kind of 
finally get out there and meet everyone that's, you know, put yeah. a face to all the numbers. Well, I hope you and Tika enjoy it here. We are a dog-loving city in yes. Seattle. We've got lots of places to, to take Tika, and hopefully you'll, you'll have time to, to socialize with our local peeps. Oh, you know? she's, she's got her Seattle if it's ready. She has her raincoat and her wellies. She's ready. She's not going to feel the Seattle freeze at all. <laughs> she won't feel it at all. She's from Montreal. She's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Tika for coming in this morning. Thank you for having us. Absolutely.